Hey everyone! Here I want to share with you how I make my natural hair swatches. If you want to try a new shades or new color, it's good to have some natural hair swatches. This way you can experience different tone and shades. Sometimes when I do haircut, I keep some of those hair to make some uh, hair swatches later. But this time I use a mannequin head. I had this old mannequin head and yeah, she, yeah, she has a natural hair. Uh, I know this is creepy, but I just want to show you how I made this. I just put her hair in a small, small ponytail in several areas and then used my trimmer to cut that hair from the uh, root. This is uh, one of them. Later, uh, I used some rubber bands. This kind of rubber band, they are very stretchy. So I take some hair off. The thickness, depending what I uh, want to do with that later, if it is for highlight, I uh, would rather to go like with long hair. Sometimes I go with a thicker hair, make my color swatch. I grab the hair and hold it from here, from the top tightly and put my rubber band on my finger and just put my rubber band around the hair and just twist and do the same thing again and again. So I'm going to repeat that until it doesn't let me go. There is another way to make these color swatches and it's that's that's what I uh, tried before using um, tape. I uh, had some uh, packing tape, some of those uh, thick tapes and put it around the hair. I'm going to show it to you here and just I pull it up a little bit. Hopefully you could see it well and then later I'm going to trim the top area and the bottom area and I use it to make some color swatches. This one is uh, the one that I made with the tape. So I bleach the hair and then use my toner on that. Look how pretty they are. I have so many of them. So whenever I want to try a new shades and I don't know how the result would be, I would rather to uh, make a swatch and see how it works. This way, I, I got that thick area, so I put my formula on that. For example, this one is dusty purple. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's from Matrix. Or this one, this one is 8V. This one is Shady Q from Red Can. So yeah, this is how I made my color swatches. I wanted to share it with you. Hopefully it helps you. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends. Thank you.